BVB landed in Marbella on Friday and have had a good few days of intense morning and afternoon sessions. And now time for the friendly against second division side Fortuna Dusseldorf. Marco Reus back from injury and in the starting lineup. Sebastian Aller on the bench and could make an appearance as well. And into the action we go, and plenty of it in the opening minutes. Fifth minute to be precise, Dortmund on the attack, Guerrero with the first chance, and Felix Paslak making no mistakes with the follow-up. Edin Terzic saying during the camp that he wanted his team to be more clinical in front of goal in the second half of the season. Certainly seems like Felix Paslak was listening with that effort and finish. Fantastic build-up play. A little bit of good fortune for Paslak to see it come back his way, but nothing wrong with the inside of the right boot finish from the BVB right back. Great goal. Dortmund 1-0 up with just under five minutes played. It wouldn't take long, however, for Dusseldorf to get themselves an equaliser. However, Dortmund would play their part in handing their opponents the equalising goal because it would come from the penalty spot. Torgan Hazard with a slightly wild challenge inside his own penalty area. And the referee pointing straight to the spot. Nothing wrong with the decision. And stepping up to take the penalty for Dusseldorf, the big number nine, David Kovnatsky, slotting home from the spot, finding the top left corner, sending Gregor Kobel the wrong way. And just like that, the second division side back on level terms. The opening 10 to 15 minutes would remain action packed. And then this effort, a Beckham esque. Attempt from inside Dusseldorf's own half from Tanaka trying to catch Gregor Kobel off guard. But the Swiss keeper able to stop that one from travelling over his line. Then Dortmund back on the attack once more, this time from a corner. Bellingham arriving late, tried to use his right thigh to guide it into the inside of that bottom right corner, just inside the half hour mark. But arriving a little too late, the defender doing just enough to put the English international off. A minute later, Dortmund once again powering forward. Good link-up play on this near side. And the through ball from Guerrero to Bellingham. Bellingham doesn't shoot, lays it off, and there's Adeyemi. Fantastic play from Dortmund and then Jude Bellingham as well. Unselfish play from him. And Adeyemi left with an easy finish from close range. Dortmund with a 2-1 lead and now well and truly in control. Dominating possession throughout the first 45 as we head into the second 45. 73rd minute and the highlight of that second half, Sebastian Aller replacing Yusufa Mukoko just six months after his cancer diagnosis back in full training in Marbella and back on the pitch against Fortuna. Not long later, Dortmund with their next chance, Giovanni Reina with a free kick, testing the goalkeeper. And it's parried away well. Dortmund would then really put the pressure on in the final 10 minutes. Full 11 changes to Edin Terzic's side in the second half. Julian Brandt, one of those changes. Ball in to Nico Schlotterbeck. And a calm, cool and collected finish from the central defender. Popping up in the right place at the right time. Side foots it. Top shelf. And just like that, Dortmund 3-1 up. 3 would soon become 4. Daniel Marlin, who is the standout player on the Asian Tour, scoring goals for fun, would continue that form here in Marbella. Lovely through ball to find him. Well-timed run, which he bent to perfection to stay on side. And then was composed with his finish as he slots it past the keeper and into the back of the net to give Dortmund a 4-1 lead. And Marlon wasn't finished there. Final few minutes of the game, powering through with this solo effort and a fantastic finish into the far corner. We'll take the scoreline to 5-1. 
It took the substitutes in the second half a while to get going, but once they did, well, they started to really have fun, especially Daniel Marlon, who picks up a, another brace during the mid-season period. One last chance of the game was handed to Dortmund by Dusseldorf and some sloppy defending. And it was Sebastian Aller who very nearly scored on his return as he looks to the heavens. However, I'm sure he'll be getting far more opportunities like that in the second half of the season. Great to have him and Marco Reus back in action. Dortmund back in action on Friday with the next friendly against Basel before the Bundesliga action gets underway on the 23rd of January at home against Augsburg.